Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make the double pocket gift card holder. We're going to make a Father's Day version using the Geared Up Garage stamp set and the Garage Gear dies. And this is the front and then when you open it, it holds a gift card or some money and then also a lottery ticket if you want to put a lottery ticket in there. Isn't that awesome? And then here's one that I made for graduation themed using Above the Clouds. And this one holds the cash and then a gift card. Don't you love that stamp set? So then the idea of this card, let me show you here. So this came from the Stampin' Anonymous tutorials. These are tutorials that I get together with five other talented Stampin' Up! demonstrators and we form six tutorials every month, brand new. And this theme this month for June is gift card holders. So I took one of the tutorials in this month's Stampin' Anonymous tutorials and I tweaked it a little bit and made it another style of the card. So it's totally different than the ones listed in the tutorials. You can get these for free from me when you place any size order at my online store, or you can purchase them too. All right. Okay, so here's the Above the Cloud stamp set with the hot air balloons. This is also available in a bundle, and this is the hot air balloon punch. You can purchase these together and save 10% when you purchase them in a bundle. And then the Geared Up Garage. This is the Geared Up Garage stamp set and the Garage Gears dies. Okay, so those are available right now in the annual catalog. All right, so we made a different version using the Free as a Bird stamp set with the Bird Ballad designer paper. So if you want to check that one out, we filmed that live yesterday. So you can catch the replay. The link is down below if you want to check out that video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So let me give you all the measurements here. So we're going to start with the base. You're going to need two pieces of the basic gray. These are both cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. Then a piece of basic black, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then for some layers on the front, I'm using the silver foil sheet. This is cut at three fourths by five. And then a piece of the smoky slate, which is cut at, say one, one and three quarter by, by three and three quarter. Okay, so one and three quarter by three and three quarter. And then your piece of whisper white for the inside, this piece is cut at, four by 11. So let's grab our trimmer. All right, so this is the four by 11 piece. We're gonna score on the 11 inch side across the top. We're gonna score at two and three fourths, five and a half, and eight and a quarter. We're gonna fold the score lines. First fold at the five and a half. And then we're just going to fold on the back side. So we're going to flip it and fold it on itself at the two and three fourths and the eight and a quarter. Okay, so it should look like an M when you're finished there. So let me grab my scissors. Okay, so now we're going to cut at an angle on these two sides right here. So this is the way the card's going to go into the two sides of your base of your card. So I'm just going to pretty much cut. There's no precise measurement here. I'm just cutting at an angle from that side. And then I'm using this side over here. I'm cutting at that at an angle. And these are going to be the pockets of our gift card and money holder. Okay, so that looks like that. Now let's do some stamping. I'm going to use the Smoky Slate Classic Ink. And I'm going to use the, the exhaust smoke from that geared up garage and I'm going to stamp off and I'm just going to randomly stamp across the border of this insert here. I'm going to take this smoky slate piece. We're going to also stamp the same way across this piece right here. So that's all the stamping. I went ahead and die cut all the other pieces. So let me show you all those. Here's all the pieces that I die cut. And I used the silver foil sheet for all the gears. And there's the Happy Father's Day. And then of course the classic car, the muscle car, the Mustang. And then I also stamped and cut out all geared up to celebrate and then you are classic. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our card together. So we're going to first build onto the front, which is the basic black piece. Got some snail. So 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put our smoky slate piece and then our strip of the silver foil sheet. So I'm going to put the smoky slate piece under the front first. And then our strip of the foil sheet here. All right, then it's just a matter of layering all our pieces on the front. So I'm going to take our large piece with the gears and put that right across the front and then build on that with the car and then of course with the your classic okay this piece is going to get adhered to one of the basic gray this is going to be the considered the front of the card so we're going to go ahead and put that onto the basic gray So now we're going to take the insert. Now these are the pockets here, so we're going to fold it up. Remember, we got the M part here, like that. And now we're going to put adhesive only on the three edges. We're not going to put one here because this is the pocket where you're going to slide in your gift card or your lottery ticket or even your money. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put adhesive along this edge here and the bottom and then this edge right here. Okay, so we're going to fold this up. We're going to take the back piece of our basic gray and we're going to put this right onto the edge, the basic gray. And then you can see how the card's going to come together here. So now this side, we're going to put adhesive here, the bottom, and this edge. Front of the card this time. This time we're going to line this up with the back panel. Just line that up form your base of your card and then press that insert in the inside of the card out like that. Isn't that awesome? All right, then we're going to also decorate the panels inside. So we're going to put the Happy Father's Day. I popped all these little embellishments up on dimensionals. Put that run right there. And then all geared up to celebrate. Put that right here. So I'm also going to add some little tiny gears to the inserts to kind of tie the front to the inside. And then we're going to take Best Dad, put that one over here, along with more gears. Now I'm leaving this panel here to open so you can sign it or even stamp another message or whatever you want to do with that that last panel right there. And then I have a few more gears. I'm going to put one. I'm going to put one right here, I think. Isn't that awesome? All right, let me get the, the gift card and the, the little lottery ticket here. So here's a lottery ticket. And it just slides right into the pocket, just like that. And then here's a little gift card from the Hibbly Hot Dog. <laughs> that was a motorcycle trip we just recently went on for Memorial Day. But yeah, that's a gift card right there. You can also put cash, like I showed you here with the graduation holder one here using above the clouds. Love it. And then it folds up like that. All right, let me show you the other ones. So here's the other one. And then here's the graduation version. This one is holding the money and the gift card. Awesome. All right, so then don't forget to check out the Stampin' Anonymous tutorials. I have the link listed below if you want to check out the past tutorials that we've done. Going on almost a year now, we've been doing these tutorials every month. And this one actually is 26 pages. And it's um, with photos and written instructions. So they're very detailed instructions. And the projects are all either 3D or fun fold cards. And like I said, this month is all about the gift card holders. All right, so you can check that out. And then don't forget to check out the one that we made in the Glitter Pit live yesterday. You can check out the replay. The link is down below for that too. And we used the Free as a Bird stamp set for that version. All right, so don't forget to check out the list down below of all the products that we use for today's card. And then also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye.